Hi guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making an herbal tea leave-in conditioner with a ton of slip. Super excited to jump right into this video with you guys. Go ahead and take a screenshot of the formula so you can follow along or refer back to it later. So before we start with the actual making of the leave-in conditioner, we're going to make our herbal tea. I'm using Abunu, Slippery M, Marshmallow Root, and also fenugreek powder. To make the herbal tea, just add hot water, cover, and let it sit. Let your tea steep for about an hour to get as much mucilage and nutrients out of your herbs as possible. This mucilage adds extra slip to our leave-in conditioner. After about an hour, we can see that the herbal tea has some slip, but I want a little bit more. So we're going to use my immersion blender to really finely blend and chop up those herbs. This will ensure that our conditioner will be nutrient dense and have a lot of slip. Next, we're going to strain our tea. I'm using cotton muslin bags. I prefer these when straining mixtures with a lot of mucilage. It's a lot cleaner, tidier, less messy, and it's just faster as well. These bags effectively filters out the herbs and leave behind a slippery, gooey mixture that I'm just obsessed with. Now that we have our herbal tea extract, we can go ahead and begin the making of our herbal tea leave-in conditioner. This formula consists of a heated water phase, heated oil phase, and a cool down phase. Let's begin with our heated water phase. First, we're adding butylene glyco. It conditions the hair and it also will give your conditioner a more silky, free-flowing consistency. Next, we're adding panthenol. Panthenol adds a shiny gloss and also makes it easier to gently detangle your hair. Next up is Garcat. Garcat conditions the hair and controls the viscosity of your conditioner. That's it for the water phase. I used my immersion blender to make sure all the ingredients were well combined and to make sure the Garcat was fully hydrated. Adjusting the pH will also increase the viscosity of your water phase. Next up is the oil phase. Starting off, I'm using BTMS 50. This is my emulsifier. You need this in order for the water and the oil to come together as one homogeneous solution. BTMS 50 also provides conditioning properties, detangling properties, and it will also help to thicken up your conditioner. Next up is acetyl alcohol. It is a fatty alcohol. It's gonna soften your hair and add slip and thickness to your conditioner. Next, I'm adding shea butter. Shea butter will lock in moisture and add softness to your strands. Next is avocado oil. Avocado oil will help with dry hair and dry scalp. It also will help to strengthen, condition, and add shine to your hair. And that's it for our oil phase. Place it in a pot of water and put it on low heat to melt down. Heat your water and oil phase to a similar temperature and then combine them. Use your immersion blender to make sure you are creating a homogeneous solution. Now in some cases when one of them is a little cooler than the other, the oil phase can start to solidify a lot as you see here. So um, just place it back on the stove and continue to blend until you get an even uniform solution. Our conditioner already has a good amount of viscosity and is still piping hot. As your conditioner cools, it will thicken. At this point, you no longer need your immersion blender. You can just use your steering rod or either a spatula to gently stir your conditioner. Continue to stir until you get a smooth, silky, beautiful consistency. Mm -hmm. 
Now that our conditioner has cooled, we can add our cool down phase. Our cool down phase ingredients are those that are sensitive to heat. First up is vitamin E. This will help your oils to not go rancid. It is also a powerful antioxidant. Next, I'm adding my preservative, which you need anytime you add water to a product, especially products with a very large water phase like conditioners. Next, I'm adding rosemary extract. It is very potent and it's important that you use only a little bit. In addition to adding shine to the hair, rosemary extract also adds antimicrobial properties to your conditioner. Next, you can add an essential oil or fragrance oil of your choice, or you can leave your conditioner unscented. I'm using frankincense and myrrh from Brambleberry. It smells amazing, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And that's it for the cool down phase. Now we can add it to our conditioner. Be in mind that the rich, beautiful color of the rosemary extract will affect your final product. Before placing the cool down phase into the large batch, mix in a smaller portion of the conditioner into the cool down phase. This way, if your product destabilizes, you can correct it without messing up your larger batch. Once you have confirmed that, you can go ahead and place your cool down phase into the larger batch. Mix well with the spatula or steering rod. And that's it. You just made a herbal tea leave-in conditioner with a whole lot of slip. All that's left to do is fill your jar and enjoy. I used two different containers because I wanted to test out just how flexible this conditioner was. It's thick enough to go into a jar and be luscious and beautiful, but it was also silky and smooth enough to go into a pump bottle. So if you're someone who prefers the pump bottle, you can definitely do that with this leave-in conditioner. It also will help to not contaminate your product when you have a pump bottle as well. So it's just really up to preference. I think either way is just as beautiful and I'm loving this leave-in conditioner. Thanks to our herbal blend of abunu, fenugreek, marshmallow root, and slippery elm, we were able to extract so much slip into this beautiful conditioner. These properties will help to soften the hair, make it more silky, and of course, a lot easier to detangle. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. You can also check the description box for more information. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because it's the only, only, only way you can keep up with the videos I'm coming up with, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Bye.